Hi, I'm James Casey, and this is World's Toughest Fixes. What I have in back of me is the world's toughest truck, the 2005 Guinness Book of World Records, world's fastest truck, the Dodge Viper truck. That's right, the same Viper name as in the Dodge Supercar. And under the hood, the same tough drivetrain. It's got the same all aluminum V10, 505 horsepower and it's pushing through the same six-speed manual transmission that's in the Viper supercar. There's also massive disc brakes all the way around to stop this beast. 14-inch rotors up front with huge four-piston calipers. They got the biggest tires in the world, 305s all the way around, mounted on the biggest wheels you can find on the showroom floor, 22-inch. It is tough, and this will beat most sports cars. Under the hood, it's really a sight to see. This is the prettiest engine in the world. Clean, no hoses or tubes running. It's just huge intake manifold and big red valve covers that say Viper. It is a sight to see. It is gorgeous. Here's one of my products that I've developed to make the truck go around the track a little faster and to pass up those turbo Porsches. It's a remote control power tailgate. And it's my invention, it's my patent, but the coolest feature about this, it will automatically open up and the sport position on the freeway and improve the aerodynamics. And then, it'll automatically close as you come to a stop. It's a, it's a cowboy's, a poor man's Porsche Carrera wing is what I call it. That's very cool. So I use that also racing the vehicle, racing the truck. On the high speed banks of Fontana, going 150 miles an hour and I'm really looking for the rear end stability because the, bed, the back of the trucks are light. So this thing opened up, gives me some downward force, a couple of hundred pounds of the rear axle and gives me that stability I need to get around those sports cars. Why do I want to host the world's toughest fixes? Because I want to share my passion, my love for engineering to as many people as possible and this show gives me this opportunity. Frankly, the biggest attraction to doing this forensic investigation and study and analysis is to be able to convey it, not to my colleague engineers, that's no big deal, they understand it, but to be able to convey it to the average person without the engineering background, to teach them, to let them see what I'm seeing on a basic level and to let them appreciate what's going on, I, I think that would be fantastic and that's what I'm looking forward to. Why should you pick me to be the host? Easy. I'm a natural teacher. I have great communication skills, but moreover, I have unparalleled enthusiasm for engineering. What's the biggest, toughest fix I've ever done? We had a pool that was sliding down the hill, a big, beautiful, expensive pool, and we had to stabilize it. So the fix that I came up with was that we had to set 20 caissons 80 feet down into bedrock to stabilize the pool and then construct, reinforce the pool so it was a self-sustaining structure. I got a Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering. I've got an emphasis in structures, which was from a finite element graduate class, uh, which primarily is wing design of airplanes. I consulted on the U.S.'s biggest uh, excavation job which was MWD's Eastside Reservoir Project that was responsible for bringing Los Angeles its drinking water. I've been a general contractor, a licensed B1 for over 15 years, but my biggest love and passion is working as an inventor engineer uh, for my own company, which invents high-performance automotive parts to primarily help me get around the track faster.